Well, hello. We're going to get started. Thank you so much for joining in. This is the online information session for the Ecological Landscaper Immersion Training Program. And it's, it's great to see we've got over 80 people registered for this program, or for, sorry, for this training, for this webinar. Um, and I see, you see some friendly faces there in the chat window. We've got people signing in from Davis, as well as uh, looks like we got someone from Nebraska. Yeah, that's so great. Um, and to answer your question, I'm just seeing us coming up over in the chat window. We will have this entire uh, program uh, recorded, um, and we will send that out um, to everyone who's registered for this meeting. So you'll have the opportunity to go back and review um, all these slides and the audio um, at your own convenience. Um, and the slides, there, there's photos and, and so forth, but really uh, the bulk will be Eric talking as well as the question and answer at the end. So, um, so first of all, I just want to honor, thank you so much for tuning in uh, online with us today for this afternoon. I know you are all have full lives and are doing world-changing work, so we really appreciate your time. Um, and I think you'll find it, it'll be very, uh, answer the bulk of your questions about uh, this groundbreaking new program that really, uh, to our knowledge, there's nothing like it out there um, in terms of what is being offered. So we're really excited to share this with you. Um, and I'm just going to give a, we're kind of waiting. Um, looks like we've got people coming in. We've got about 30 people online right now. Um, but like I said, over 80 people are registered for this online information session. And uh, we hope you find it inspiring and informative. And um, and uh, you will have the opportunity at the end to ask your questions. Um, and so as we go through the slides, if questions come up, uh, type them in in the chat window to your left there. And uh, everyone will be able to see those questions. Um, and so if your question has already been asked in the chat window, um, we will answer those questions at the end. Um, and we'll also hear from um, John Scott, who's uh, currently working with Eric in the Permaculture Skills Center as an apprentice. Um, so we'll kind of hear from a diversity of voices. Um, my name is Erin Axelrod, and I am working with the Permaculture Skills Center, um, particularly around uh, this, this program, the Ecological Landscaper Immersion Training Program. Um, and just one other piece. Um, before I hand it over to Eric to really kick us off, um, I'm going to go over the agenda, kind of what we're going to cover. Um, but think about even, I mean, I know there's a range of people online. There's people who are actually considering this program uh, for themselves to, to actually take the plunge and, and enroll for this year. There are people um, signed on today who are looking at uh, this program for uh, for the, for next year or future years, um, but there are also people that are just kind of friends of Permaculture Skills Center and really have a, a vested interest in getting the word out about our programs and helping us spread the word to people who might be potential students. So as we go through these slides, even if you yourself are not ready to enroll, think about um, if you have friends, family, uh, colleagues that might be the perfect fit for this for this program. Um, and think about if you would like to facilitate an introduction between the Permaculture Skills Center and them. Um, and we also have a formalized affiliate program as well, so that might be a fit for you. So, so think about that as we're going through. I'm going to just dive in. Um, so we're going to we're going to I'm going to hand it over in just a few minutes to Eric, um, and he is going to talk really about the inspiration for this training. What what catalyzed this idea to come to fruition to offer this, um, like I said, what, what we think is uh, it is not being offered anywhere else to our knowledge. It's like no other program that we know of. Um, he'll talk a little bit about the industry and the landscape. Um, 
and go into what is actually going to be covered. Um, and we don't have Toby Hemingway on the line today, but uh, we will potentially be doing a webinar with him as well, and he is the co-teacher uh, along with Eric Olson for this program. We'll talk about the, the qualifications and certifications that are awarded through this nine-month program. Um, we'll talk a little bit about opportunities uh, once graduation happens and kind of moving forward, how the students will be able to use this program. Um, and then we'll dive into logistics. I'll cover all our deadlines and tuition, scholarships, all of that, um, and the affiliate program. And then we'll have question and answer. We're going to try and leave the bulk of the last 20 minutes for question and answer. Um, and that point, we'll also uh, hear from John Scott, who, like I mentioned, is, is uh, currently in, enrolled and working with Eric and learning from Eric. And so I'll give you a, a, an opportunity to hear from someone who, who is learning the types of material that we'll be covering um, in the ELI program. Um, and then we've got some next steps, you know, concrete actions that you'll be able to take um, after this, after we go through these slides and, and this one hour together um, to really plug in and support. And there's a number of ways uh, that you can support um, and, and be a part of this exciting, exciting moment in history for the permaculture movement. Um, so, again, thank you so much for taking, taking the time to be online with us today. Um, and uh, I'm going to turn it over to Eric Olson um, to talk about how, really the core of how this program um, started, the seed of where, where this idea came from. Take it away, Eric. Greetings, everyone. Wow, this is some pretty interesting technology here. It's pretty awesome to have an opportunity to talk to you all from all over the country. And thank you so much for tuning in. Um, we are just ecstatic to be able to offer this program, the Ecological Landscape for Immersion program. Part of the reason why we've created this is really to fill an important niche that many of us for years have been observing, not only in the permaculture community, but also in the landscape industry as a whole. Um, you know, first off, the point of this program is to get people some serious skill training. <clears throat> and, you know, some of you have probably taken a permaculture design course before or other kinds of, uh, you know, coursework with permaculture or landscaping. And, you know, unfortunately, a lot, of other, a lot of the programs just aren't really designed around imparting, like, real skills training that, uh, one, either – gives you the kinds of um, skills that make you more hireable to potential employers, or two, actually the skills to go out there and start your own business um, and be successful. One of my big critiques of the permaculture community, uh, not the community, but just the, the way we've set it up, is, is that you know, we really haven't focused enough on getting people out into, in, in, in a workforce. You know, we're... We're focused a lot on imparting principles and concepts and education and inspiring, but, you know, it's time to make permaculture and ecological landscaping a profession. This, is, this stuff is an alternative. It's not subculture. These are solutions that no matter you're Republican or Democrat, whether you're, you know, white or black or brown, whether you're a man or a woman, whether you are rich or poor, the kinds of solutions that permaculture and ecological landscaping offers are for everybody. And so we need to professionalize this work so that rather than having these kinds of activities be a hobby like it is for most people who <clears throat> take a permaculture design course, that if you're spending 40 hours a, a week uh, working to get your paycheck so you can support your family, so you can pay your bills, um, well, how about that work that you're doing is harvesting water? You know, what if your job was to plant fruit trees? <clears throat> what if your job was to educate the youth in ways of growing food? It's time to professionalize this work. And, um, and so that's been a big piece of, of, of uh, why we started this. <clears throat> and it noticed, again, that um, there's a real lack of people being able to 
to get out there and find and, and find meaningful work in in these in these areas. The other side of it too um, is that the, the other side of it too is that um, the landscape industry itself needs to be transformed. Uh, we just I just recently learned that 71 billion dollars uh, is uh, in the United States is what makes up the landscape industry itself. So that's 71 billion dollars of landscape work happening in this country. And I tell you right now, the majority of that is an increase in use of herbicides and pesticides and chemicals. It's rolling out lawns. It's water intensive landscapes. And so we need to sort of crack the shell in this industry and um, and show people, like you can see in this picture, those of you that are online, that we can create landscapes that are absolutely beautiful, they're functional, but they're harvesting water, they're growing food, they're increasing habitat for wildlife, <laughs> they're connecting people to their land. And so this is part of the kind of transformation of the landscape industry that we want to, we're at the forefront of. And for those that take the Ecological Landscaper Program, you are going to be pioneers or pioneers in pushing and transforming this industry in ways that will heal planet Earth and also create a really thriving economic ecosystem for those of us that find this work important. So we just wanted to show you a few examples of, of um, some of my projects. Uh, boy, it's really hard to pick and choose sort of out of all the various projects. Um, I just want to show you a few examples of some of our projects to give you a sense of just what we do and, and who we are. And um, along with that, I just wanted to mention that as we look at some of these pictures, um, the, you know, most of these projects take place in Northern California. And so we're, we're, this, is, this one here is in Sebastopol, California. And you'll notice that there's a mix of hardscaping and softscaping. And so the hardscapes are the patios and the rock walls and the, um, the ponds and such, and the softscaping more being the planting pieces. And so what I like to tell folks is, you know, when you take a permaculture course or, or you learn sort of ways to heal the land, often you're not talking about, you know, hardscapes and sort of traditional landscape techniques. But as a landscape contractor myself, when I talk with my clients, um, you know, we find that most people want to have some kind of hardscape. Most people want to go out and be able to recreate in their in their gardens and, and spend time there, outdoor kitchens and patios and ponds and pathways and such. So this program is really designed around you know, offering that very well-rounded approach to, um, to landscape. And I always tell folks, you don't ever even have to use the word permaculture. You don't ever even have to use the word ecological landscape. I, I often educate my clients about these principles and about um, our approach. But if someone just wants a beautiful place in their backyard to go have a, an outdoor meal, then I'll design the landscape around that. And as extra benefits, I'll educate my client about the water that they save from the water harvesting swale we installed. I'll educate them about the wildlife that they get to enjoy from all the habitat plants that we planted. But they still got their little outdoor kitchen, so they feel like their dreams are coming true. And at the same time, we took that opportunity to really make an impact on how we treat the land. Um, this is a project that's in the process right now. Again, lots of hardscapes. This is all locally sourced rock. Um, but these are water harvesting terrace systems. So we can even give someone a high-end landscape that can really rival any of the high-end landscape co uh, companies out there. But we do it in such a way where, like these terraces here that we're looking at, <clears throat> they're harvesting hundreds of thousands of gallons of water. All the water off the roof of that house in the background gets channeled into these terrace systems. And in a, just recently, the last couple of weeks, we have 14 inches of rain here in Sebastopol, and these terrace systems work excellent. So it's, it's how do we marry the, tr the basic needs of people in, uh, who want a landscape with ecological principles? And this is a real sweet spot for us. It's something that we're going to spend a lot of time in the program uh, talking about. You know, how do we educate and market this kind of stuff? Just before the webinar, I was um, having a conversation with a prospective attendee of the program, and he asked me some really great questions. 
And so I just want to kind of bring those up because some of you might be asking these same questions. One of the questions he asked is, you know, what about competition? Is there enough of a market out there <clears throat> for uh, ecological landscaping? And, uh, and why in the world would I create a program that essentially would be uh, training up a, a whole generation of competitors for me? And uh, I thought that was a really excellent question because it, it really is a good representation of the way that the, land, the trades industries uh, generally work, which is uh, very competitive and really about... Um, <laughs> you know, sort of beating out your opponent and, and uh, going after the same jobs. What's been amazing, especially in our area, is that ecological landscaping, the market for that, is growing so rapidly that it's absolutely impossible for us to keep up with it. And it's not just happening in Northern California. It's all over the whole country. We can see a trend as people ex experience the effects of climate crisis that these drought-stricken landscapes are turning into uh, you know scenarios where people are absolutely desperate for this kind these kinds of skills the kind of skills that we teach in this program and so the market for this work is growing exponentially and it will continue to do so especially here in California we're in the midst of a 500 year you know greatest drought in possibly 500 years so in the midst of a drought of this this magnitude and this scale we can create lush garden landscapes like the, those of you can see the picture now that are, uh, you know, that are abundant and uh, provide food and habitat and medicine and beautiful place to be. We can create ponds even in these drought-stricken landscapes that hold and catch every last little drop of water that falls onto the property and provide a place for wildlife, for potentially growing fish, potentially growing food. And yet, it could also just be a beautiful pond. Um, some people just want the, the aesthetic aspect of it. And so, so uh, part, of, part of, again, what we're sort of communicating is how, in some ways, we can sort of have it all. We can have the beauty and we can have the function at the same time. And we can do it in the midst of catastrophe. And there's uh, so many principles and aspects of how we approach this work really specific to the client that... Um, that we're going to share with you in the Ecological Landscaper Program. Um, so uh, I will also just say that Permaculture Artisans, which is my design um, and install company, uh, again, another reason why we've been as successful as we have been is because we haven't specialized necessarily in one technique or another. So what I mean by that is because we look at landscapes as whole systems and just as we look at the ecology as a whole system, which includes our human community members, uh, we, will, we also take on projects that include sustainable forestry, pasture regeneration, native right. grassland regeneration, um, and uh, uh, in it, a whole variety of different approaches, which may not even just be called landscape designing and installing production farms, designing and installing production orchards, working with schools, working with cities, working on public land. There is just so much opportunity and possibility when we look to how do we care for our land, how do we care for Mother Earth. And being a landscape contractor actually puts you in a, a, a very um, a high leverage position where you can offer design and implementation services to such a wide variety of potential clients and potential projects. So some of you might be more interested in, you know, very simple urban um, scale homestead landscapes. Some of you might be more interested in broad acre land regeneration projects. All of those are going to be covered in the Ecological Landscaper Immersion Program, and you're also going to get an opportunity to visit and tour um, projects all around the county, or Sonoma County where we're based out of, and Northern California, and see the application in all these different forms and all these different scales. So it's just very exciting work. The work never, ever gets boring. There's always something new on the horizon. And it's really time to just rev up this industry, this ecological landscape industry, so we can, in a sense, sort of take over the um the the this 
landscape market. And I don't mean me take it over. I mean us as a community, as a culture, we need to reconnect to our lands in ways that regenerate, that build soil, that catch water, that increase habitat, and do that in such a way where you can feel good about the paycheck you're getting, you can care for your family, and uh, and care for your community. So all of these pathways, all of, all of these things, they get integrated into the kind of work that we're doing and the kind of program that we're going to be launching this June. So what are some of the topics that we're going to be covering? Um, I've mentioned a bunch of them before, but let's get into specifics. Ecological design. Um, so essentially we're looking at, you know, the principles of permaculture and the different methodologies for ecological design. But beyond what you may have learned, say, in a permaculture design course, we're going to expand this content and include proven techniques for um, how, how do you present design to clients? How do you create bids and estimates to get access to projects? Um, all the aspects of how from an initial consultation to providing a design proposal, implementing the design and presenting it, we want to take you through all the different parts of that. Um, for me, I come from a permaculture background since I was 19. It's what I've been doing my entire adult life. I'm 34 now, almost 35. And so permaculture is completely immersed in every single thing that I do. And I may not ever use the word permaculture with particular clients. I really assess my clients just like I assess our projects and the kind of landscapes that we're, in, that we're impacting. But permaculture is a, a foundation to everything we're doing. And then we get into installation and maintenance. <clears throat> these are the these are really the big sort of money making components of our contracting company, where uh, you know at, with our landscape installation crew, we've got 14 people now, so we've got multiple crews for permaculture artisans, and this is where we can really build an economy based on healing the earth, where we can create a we uh, really create jobs hate to say the word job creators because it's been so polluted. Um, but yes, we can, by creating more ecological landscape businesses, we're going to create these economic opportunities for our friends and our community members um, that are going to get out there and install these landscapes. If we're looking at the, from the perspective of permaculture and ecological design, then the maintenance side of this is really key and really important. And I actually find that a lot of people who have existing landscapes, they have just traditional landscape people doing their maintenance. You know, we call it the mow, blow, and go. It's highly intensive use of fossil fuels. It's, um, you know, generally there's not a lot of care taken to um, real plant care. It's more aesthetic pruning and such. And, um, and so we want to teach you how to do that ecologically, how to be ecological landscape maintainers. It's an entire niche market, actually that we can really blow out. Um, access to land, you know, just talking about uh, opportunities for starting your own projects, your own education centers, we'll get into that. Equipment operation, it's a pretty key aspect to any kind of large-scale project, and everyone who takes this course is going to have a chance to get on an excavator. They're, you're going to have a chance to operate a tractor and get a sense of what that's all about. Contractor's law, it's different in every state, but for, for uh, we'll be focusing on California, and we want to support you if if uh, becoming a licensed contractor or something you're interested in. Then, as part of this course, we will help guide you and mentor you in the process of gaining your own license. Uh, we're definitely going to talk a lot about permitting and sort of how to work within the existing laws of any particular um, municipality or county. And then one of the parts of this program, which I think is incredible is the business coaching side. We have a business coach, uh, actually one of my mentors, his name is Jeff Edelheit, and he'll be working with every single participant of this program. He's changed my life literally through the kinds of business mentorship that he's offered me over the years. And so we're so, so excited to offer an opportunity to have a business coach of his caliber for everyone that's in this program. And not only, uh, and it's not going to be the same for everybody because you all are different folks. And so some people might want to become a contractor, someone might want to do design, someone may want to start some other kind of business. And so you can custom that to exactly what your needs are. Um, 
So not only for the business coaching, but, you know, what kind of structures, how, what are your daily operations, operational costs, overhead, you know, all these things are really important to running a successful business. And we're here to share our experience and help you design your own business. So, uh, you know, what do you get in this program? I'll, you know, first off, I want to say we're, like, absolutely committed to people being successful who take this program in your work in the world. And so that's why we've developed such an intensive and rigorous curriculum, 450 hours of instruction and hands-on experience. We're really going to balance the sort of um, – in the classroom time where we're going to download lots of information to you with uh, tons of hands-on experience that's very strategic and well-structured so you get the kinds of hands-on that are actually going to be useful to you. Um, the one-on-one -on -one business coaching we talked about, one of the most important things in being successful as an ecological designer is project management and client, client relations. Um, there's some of us here at Permaculture Artisans that have kind of mastered these things. And so we're really excited to take you through um, what is probably one of the most important aspects of running a successful landscape business. Um, and then, of course, you're going to get a lot of third-party uh, training um, and, um, you know, some sort of some extra special sort of thing. Um, first off, of course, we are layering a permaculture design certificate course into this program. So if you haven't already gotten your PDC certificate, you'll get one at the end of this program. But this will be unlike any other permaculture design course you've ever taken. Um, and in addition to that, there's the permaculture diploma program, um, which we're very excited to support those of you that might want to go for your permaculture diploma. Um, we, myself and Toby, can actually be your mentors and, act, and help you get your diploma. I actually just received my permaculture diploma from the uh, Permaculture Institute of the United States. And, you know, it's just really a privilege and an honor to, um, to have that and to be able to use that in a professional way. Um, quality Water Efficient Landscaper Certification. This is something that's really recognized now in California. It's a third-party certification. So that means that folks who are in our program will actually take this. It's called Quell. And you learn everything you need to know about drip irrigation systems, smart timers, water conservation, and everything to do with that. And in the end, you actually get the certificate. You can put it on your website, put it on your business card, put it on your car, uh, and, and it's, it's really becoming more and more recognized. And, uh, and then we are also developing our own sort of certification uh, because our program is so rigorous. We really feel it's important to honor um, folks who invest the money and time in taking this program. So you also would be getting a, a ecological landscaper certificate of training from us, and that can be used as a way to help you get jobs. And of course, it's not written here, but included in, all, in if you receive one of these certificates of training, is that you get to use us as references for any kind of job that you want to, you know, you want to take on or that you apply for. <laughs> um, so, okay, to get into the logistics, I could easily talk for, you know, hours with you all about all this inspiring stuff. You can tell I'm passionate about it and because I absolutely love doing this work. I just want to share it with you. But my, uh, my colleagues here are helping us get to some of the nitty-gritty stuff here. And um, so just a little bit about program logistics. I'm going to pass it back to Aaron just to take on some of this, and uh, you'll hear from me more in here just a few minutes. Thank you all so much. So we just wanted to mention that there is um, – the course is starting June 12th, um, and you, here you have all the dates right in front of you, um, and it's broken up into three modules. So um, you should know that we, we are offering those independently as well if you wanted to just take one um, – piece instead of the entire course, um, you can take them as uh, different sections. Um, and all this information is on our website, uh, permacultureskillscenter.org. Um, it is a weekly course, so 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. on Thursday and Friday. Just a reminder, if questions um, come up, feel free to use the chat window there to the left to type in your questions, and we'll be answering them. Um, and so upcoming deadlines, we are actually offering a significant number of scholarships and work trades um, 
So, but we do, we also have seen significant requests for those. So we have an application. Um, we can send it to you. We'll actually probably, um, the deadline for that is this Friday, February 21st at 9 a.m. Um, and then we'll be notifying uh, scholarship recipients next week. Um, the deposit for the early bird registration um, is due by April 1st, but the sooner you get it in, the better. Um, we are actually looking at between uh, 15 to 25 students in this course. Um, and we currently have 14 students that are in conversation with us, sending in their deposits, um, signing their agreement with us. And so the sooner you get the deposit in, the sooner you will have secured a spot for yourself in, in this first year's course. Um, we are planning on doing this uh, subsequent years as well, but um, like I said, there are limited spots, and the sooner you get your deposit in, um, the sooner you can ensure being a part of this year's uh, first, first year class. It's always exciting to be um, in, in the groundbreaking of such a pioneering program. Um, so the tuition, there, there you see the tuition. Um, early bird registration is uh, $10,000, um, and then after that it goes up to $11,000. Uh, there's a 25% non-refundable deposit to hold your spot. Um, and we are, we've, we've definitely pivoted and responded to student feedback, and we're trying to really uh, be sensitive to the needs of our students um, and and to that end, we've made payment plans available, um, and so we're, we're working that out on a case-by-case -case basis, um, and some people have opted in for the payment plans, and some people want to pay in full uh, by April 1st, so we really are working with people to make it possible for, for people who are really committed, passionate, um, and dedicated to, to launching their career using these ecological design skills. We are also offering work trade positions. Uh, we have just a few work trade positions. Uh, one that is definitely, definitely needed for those of you out there um, who've got experience in this is social media. Um, we just, you know, we're a lean startup organization um, for the Permaculture Skills Center, so we are looking for someone who can fill that role, in particular someone who has social media experience. Um, the program support is, uh, is just uh, generally helping to keep this facility clean, um, helping to make sure that all the tools are signed in and out and checked back in in clean, um, clean ways at the end of each of our uh, course class days, um, and just generally helping out with all the, the logistical program support that is needed. And then we've got some site-specific work trades. So we've got a really exciting project coming up with Daily Act, a, a local organization. Um, working on Sebastopol City Hall and Library Project. Um, Permaculture Artisans is the contractor that is, is managing and designing that, pro that uh, installation. And um, that is an opportunity not only for you to offset some of the cost of your tuition, but also to uh, get a great project on your resume and under your belt even before graduating this, this nine-month vocational uh, training program. So, um, we're you know, kind of stacking functions in, in the permaculture uh, lens and, and making sure that we're both um, offering job opportunities to offset some of the cost of tuition as well as um, offering you really, um, really uh, relevant job experience. Um, and then we've got a couple other project sites as well. Um, so in order to be considered by the, for those work trade positions, you definitely do need to get your scholarship application in uh, by by this Friday, and um, and and we are uh, we are trying to make it possible for for people of um, uh, all financial means. And we're particularly looking for our scholarships for um, established ecological businesses committed to scaling up. So that would be. If you have your landscaping company, maybe you're a brilliant landscape installer but just haven't ever been drawn to taking the conventional business classes for whatever reason, um, this is your chance to really get, get the, the business skills to round out, um, round out your, your business. Um, 
Uh, we're also looking for um, high school age youth. We have a couple rocking, cool um, high school people just coming out of high school and committed to to really their their life path, uh, doing entering the landscaping field um, and making a living, uh, transforming our our landscapes um, and regenerating the planet. Um, as well as people who will bring these types of uh, solutions to areas that maybe we here in, in Sebastopol can't reach as effectively. Um, so we've got a, a handful of folks that are commuting here from Oakland to take this course. Um, that's a, a, a place that is full of both a lot of affluence, but also a lot of need and a lot of poverty-stricken areas of, of Oakland that can really benefit from these types of um, ecological design practices. Um, and we also are encouraging of women um, because, as, as many of us know, the landscaping industry is, is pretty male-dominant um, sector, and there's no reason that that should be the case. So we're encouraging women and people of color to apply for a scholarship. Um, wanted to just make a quick plug. Um, if this course is not the right fit for you, but you have the means and wherewithal to sponsor a student, this could be a really life-changing gift you give to someone uh, just coming out of college or just coming out of high school uh, that, it, that has the, the, um, the commitment and passion and dedication really to commit their lives to permaculture. And so if you're the, of the means to be able to sponsor a student, it can be um, even a small sponsorship. Every little bit goes a long way and we can match you up with those Students. And then um, the affiliate program, I'll just uh, cruise through briefly because I want to give Johnny a chance to speak um, as well as opportunity for you all to ask questions. Um, so the affiliate program is going to be um, an opportunity for you if you feel like you can confidently speak to uh, what we're doing here at the Permaculture Skills Center, uh, the program that we're offering, um, we have some funds to give referral fees to you if you bring people in um, who sign up and enroll in the nine-month-long um, ecological immersion program. So just keep that in the back of uh, in the back of your mind if that is of interest to you. Um, we'd love to have inspired, enthusiastic people out there doing some of our marketing for us and, and helping us really uh, bring in the right people to this program. We're really looking for um, self-directed, passionate, curious um, people to make up this first year. And, and, and like I said, we're going to be committed to, like Eric mentioned, we're going to be committed to their success even after they, they leave this, this program. Um, so helping them get their contractor's license, helping you as students launch your business and, and do the business planning. Um, Adam, could you make sure and help get Johnny on the line here? We're, we're just about queuing up. Um, so, yeah. Testimonials here, you've got um, just a, a, a bit of a quote here from someone who's worked with Eric. And I'm actually going to turn it back over to Eric to talk a little bit about um, business partnerships and, and relationships. And, and really, we, you know, here at Permaculture Skills Center, we really believe that the, the key to being successful in business is, is same, same as ecosystems, right? It's about relationships. Um, so I want to turn it back over to Eric to talk a little bit about that and, and the business philosophy there. Thank you so much, Aaron, for working us through a lot of the logistics here. So, uh, you know, my good friend here, Kevin Paul, he's a little biased since he's my good friend. We've worked together for a bunch of years. He's an arborist. And as Aaron said, this whole idea about partnership and relationship, it's really fundamental to a successful business in my experience, and I've actually compiled uh, uh, an entire network of professionals that I've vetted, meaning I've worked with them, I, they're collaborators, they're team players, and 
uh, it's these kinds of relationships with professionals that can really make your business successful. Sometimes you don't even need to know uh, how to do a particular thing. If you know a guy who knows how to do the thing and you think they're easy to work with, there's really great opportunity to, uh, you know, share some of the, share some of the wealth of a project and, uh, bring in other professionals. And so, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty vital point on how to, how to develop and, and manage those relationships. Uh, I was talking with a, a man right before the webinar about this program and like I mentioned, he asked some great questions. And, uh, you know, one of the things he, in this conversation about relationships, I told him that there's been times where I actually you know, walked away from even a few thousand dollars just to maintain a relationship. And there's never been a moment where I ever regretted doing that because you never know when maintaining some kind of relationship, um, uh, you know, uh, kind of comes back to you in the future. And so as, within that, folks who take this program – we're going to be building relationship with you, and we're going to invite you into our professional network, and you'll have an opportunity to work with and learn from a whole variety of professionals. In fact, I noticed we have some amazing colleagues and professionals, mentors of mine, um, right right here on the webinar with us today. And um, so I, I hope to bring some of these professionals that are even listening in today out to the program so you can really learn from a diversity of voices and learn from people who you know, have more or less mastered different aspects of ecological design and installation. And that might be tree work. That might be plumbing. That might be electrical. It might be carpentry. These are all aspects of sort of a whole systems project in ecological design. And uh, so it's something that we'll definitely be focusing a lot on in, uh, in the program and, and developing those relationships. Um, we're just uh, seeing if we can get uh, get Johnny on the line here, <laughs> and I'm really excited to take on some of your questions, which we'll do here in just a few more minutes, and uh, and see if I can clarify some things. I did just notice one question here. Someone was asking about, um, you know, how much of the course is, uh, is sort of indoor PowerPoint based, and how much is outdoor hands on. Um, I don't have an exact figure for you. But it's going to depend on the module that you take. So the course, as you saw, is broken up into three different modules. And, and uh, the first module, which is an ecological designer module, that one's probably going to have a lot more coursework inside as we look at mapping and uh, different, um, uh, different ways of presenting. And there's a lot that, to discuss there about um, design technique, principles, strategy, and things like that. So depending on the module, there'll be more hands-on or less hands-on. And the hands-on work is going to progressively get more involved and more intense as we work through the second and third module. We've sort of designed the progression of the program from the three modules to um, give you a strong foundation at the beginning with ecological design, move you into more small-scale to mid-scale homesteader-type technique, um, so something you might do at your own house on a couple acres or even just in a small backyard. And then the third module, which is more of the contractor sort of per, uh, a, a next level piece um, for people who want to be contractors or become professionals, we'll get more, we'll, the, the kinds of hands-on we do will become more involved, more intense, more technical, like say putting in a pond with a waterfall and a filter. And so uh, so it's going to progress as we go through the program. But we will have days where the entire day is spent outside working on a project. We actually have some very fun um, and uh, challenging projects in store for those of you that are brave enough to come get in the dirt with us. And uh, so we may even spend an entire day installing a small-scale entire system with pathways and a pond and a waterfall and a drip irrigation and a planting scheme. Um, so so we're definitely going to have a lot of fun out there. So I just noticed that um, Johnny is here on the line. Um, we'll see if our technology works um, to allow him to give a, little, a few words to all of you about his experience um, 
learning from Eric and learning with Eric. Um, let me just turn him over to presenter mode, if you'll bear with us for just a minute. Johnny, if you speak, are, are people able to hear you? Doesn't look like he's logged on quite yet. I did want to answer one quick question while we're getting Johnny on the line. Um, we have been asked a pretty significant number of times about both housing um, as well as um, finding, <laughs> finding jobs in this area for those who want to relocate, which a lot of people do want to relocate coming in from all across the country to learn with Eric and Toby Hemingway as well. Um, we're really seeing, seeing this as a, as a draw for people from all over. Um, we, at this time, we're not able to um, invest the energy in kind of housing options for, for folks. Um, so we, we are leaving, putting that on, on the students to, to be creative and uh, find your networks um, here in the Sebastopol and Santa Rosa community and maybe do um, home shares as well as we, we have a range of different communities, uh, community living spaces all around Sonoma County. So um, we are leaving that to the students. And jobs, um, we are also, the, the only jobs that we're really offering people are our work trade um, opportunities that I mentioned earlier in, in this here. webinar. Um, so in turn, we, we will have a jobs board and we will try and post jobs that we know of uh, regularly um, and certainly we'll be emailing um, anyone who's enrolled and has submitted their deposit for, to hold their spot in this course. Certainly, we will be emailing you regularly with, with job opportunities um, that, that come, come into our frame of reference, and we can pass those along to you. Um, but that's just one that question that we've been, um, had a lot of people ask about that. Um, so we've got, let's see, Johnny, are you, are you here calling in? No. Doesn't look like Johnny is going to be able to join us. So here's one question we've we've got. Um, go on to the next slide to to address question and answers. We've got John. Um, if you wanted to take all three but can't start until the second block, are scholarships and work trades still available? So yes, um, our scholarship application is due this Friday. Um, so we can talk, and we we can also talk individually. You can email oh, Adam yes. at promote. Hey, hello. Okay, here is Johnny. Let me see if I can put him into presenter mode. Nope, this won't let me. No. Nah. All right, well, I really wanted to, you to hear from Johnny. I think I'm just going to go ahead and um, I, I had the opportunity to talk to, to John yesterday, so I just want to share a little bit about what he's already gained from being a part of the apprentice program. Um, and uh, Johnny really shared with me that since working with Eric and learning about these ecological um, skills, he's been applying them at his current clients in, in Davis. And um, he's seen, even with this drought that we're seeing in California, with the sheet mulching, and um, he's also used torque manure, and just the, the different ecological applications that he's learned, he has a site where he hasn't irrigated for the past two months, even with the drought. And for those of you who are living in California, you know that the drought is very high on everyone's awareness. Um, and so I just thought that was a really neat uh, uh, thing that he shared with me that he's already seeing results in his business um, that are saving resources, um, increasing increasing the uh, the viability of his site and um, and he's learned a lot just from the, the brief amount of time he's worked here at Permaculture Skill Center. Um, I'm going to turn it back over to Eric. He wants to respond to some of your questions and keep on coming into the chat room. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I love some of these questions. Um, just getting into the nuts or bolts here. 
Um, so uh, let's see. There was a question about if you uh, starting with the second block, if you can't make it through the first module, about working in the second module. Um, so uh, there, uh, the scholarship piece, uh, you know, I definitely suggest you get your scholarship application and we can work with you about the logistics around that. One of the cool things about the way we've set this whole program up is that you could literally take just one module this year out of the three, and next year you could take the second one, and you could even take a third one the year after that since these are this is an annual program broken up into three modules. Um, if you started with the second module this year, you could do the second one and the third one, and then you could go back to the first one next year if you wanted. So there's a lot of flexibility there, and, you know, with the, the co if it's cost prohibitive for you and it's easier to bite it off, you know, um, through uh, multiple years, we're totally, totally welcome to do that. Um, let's see, what's another one here? Um, we've, we've got one here, uh, can you please explain the Ecological Landscape Designer Certificate and what it permits and enables? Similarly, how recognized and persuasive is the permaculture design consultant certificate to customers? So, okay, that's a great question. The, the certificate that we give you in, upon completion of this program, it's not currently recognized necessarily since this is our pilot program and the first time we're launching this. But what it does enable you is access to our entire network and our whole support system. And one of the things I that know. we're very committed to is not uh, leaving you hanging after you leave this program. We want to develop a relationship with you to support you. And if you have the certificate, then we know that you've completed the program and we can help you in that way. And I think that it will become more and more valuable and having that on your resume people will kind of wonder, oh, what is that? And if they want to do some research, they'll find us and we'll talk really good on your behalf. Um, the permaculture design certificate itself, depending on what community you're in, it, it may or may not be helpful in terms of getting recognition for jobs, or, but it's definitely worth putting on your resume. And certain communities will absolutely recognize it as an achievement. Uh, there was another question on here about, or a comment, about just the cost prohibitiveness of this program being that they, you know, someone said they took their PC for a thousand bucks, um, you know, and this one's too expensive. Uh, you know, we've gone around and around with this for uh, the last few months. And what it came down to was we didn't want to water down the program in the way that we want to present it to you. We want to be very rigorous in teaching you skills for you to be successful. And in order for us to do that, it's really expensive. Expensive with the kinds of materials and educational materials we're going to be offering you and the teaching costs and all the other logistics around it. So rather than offering you a program that was cheaper but more watered down, we really wanted to stick to our principle of ensuring people are successful once they go through the program. And so for that kind of mentorship, like I said, um, it's, uh, you know, it's just cost prohibitive to us, and so we've tried to make this as affordable as possible. Uh, and, and another question here, can you describe the kinds of landscapes and climates you have the most experience with or tend to focus on in the class? So we're here in California, and primarily we'll be looking at temperate ecosystems um, and as well as dry, arid, arid ecosystems. Now, that said, a huge percentage of everything in our program can be applied across the board because a lot of this is about the structure that you set up your business with, how you market, and basic fundamentals for uh, managing landscapes. Another big part of what you'll learn is how do you actually assess landscapes individually. Every single site is different. Even here in California, we have hundreds if not thousands of different ecosystems and microclimates to work within. And so an important aspect of what we want to teach you is how to actually observe a variety of different ecosystems and climate situations and come up with solutions that can benefit um, whatever that ecosystem is. Eric, we've got some great questions. One is about 
Are we associated with Holistic Management Institute International, or PRI? Um, and then another one is about uh, the sequencing of the different modules, and if people take them out of order, how they can uh, catch up or, or get back in, into flow with, with the how it's Unmuted. Great, okay. Uh, so first one there about uh, Holistic Management International PRI. We're not officially affiliated with them at all, but we are colleagues and supporters of the work that both those organizations do. And we do have holistic management cert uh, certified consultants in our professional network that will bring out for the appropriate topic on holistic management. Um, and we also do have some great relationships with CRI International. And so we're just mutually supportive organizations. We love their work. They're supportive of us. And so by taking this program, you essentially join a large network, which includes these kinds of organizations out there. I would just add that um, we have a great resource here in Sonoma County called the Marin Carbon Project um, and the Carbon Cycle Institute that is looking at rangeland management and grazing practices and actually is peer-reviewed research uh, from the Lawrence Silver, sorry, Lawrence Berkeley, uh, the Silver Lab at Lawrence Berkeley um, Science Center. So we have within our network here in Sonoma County some of the most cutting-edge work in terms of carbon sequestration uh, through appropriate rangeland management. So if that's of interest to you, please do email either myself or Adam, um, Adam at permaculturestillcenter.org, and we can talk a little bit about how that's going to be incorporated into the curriculum. Um, I also wanted to just highlight this, these great really? comments about the business coaching. We've really found that that business, the focus on marketing and business planning and business development, development is really something that differentiates this program from any other per permaculture programs that are out there. Um, so thank you for those comments, and, and we'd be glad to continue this conversation offline. If you didn't get your question uh, answered, today. Um, we'll, we'll see if Eric has a few more questions that he can answer, but I just wanted to um, make sure and share the contact information for Adam. Um, Adam at permacultureskillscenter.org. Uh, please do email us if you, if you need an application or if um, you have any further questions and, and we'll definitely uh, try and we'll answer all of them. Um, uh, so another one I wanted to take on, uh, just again going back to the um, taking the course, the modules out of sequence. Uh, so you will, if you take the cor the three modules out of sequence, like over a year or two, um, obviously it's great for it. We're totally supportive of that. And you know the only drawback you're really going to get is how uh, is, is uh, the, the connection to the community that you're educating with because a lot some of those folks may not cross over into the next year. Um, but you'll still have the same teaching team and mentorship team and access to all those resources that we'll be offering. So um, uh, breaking up the modules over a couple of years, uh, there may be, you know, you may have to reconnect with new community members, um, new participants in the program, and yet the curriculum is going to still hold its thread through the entire program, and you'll still be able to work with the business mentor and um, and uh, the other mentor t mentorship team to keep the progression going. So even if you take the first module last, you, there'll still be a progression that will move you into more advanced a more advanced scope as we go. Um, in terms of mentorship after the course itself, we're still developing what that will look like, and it's probably going to be individualized to each person and what their basic need is. But we are currently meeting and collaborating with Jeff on how we offer um, mentorship support after the program. <clears throat> like I said, we're totally committed to your success, and we don't want to leave you hanging once you finish the program. So. Uh, but we also know that each person, each situation is different, just like every ecology and every landscape is different. So for those of you that are thinking about applying for the program, I just want you to know that you can really customize this experience to meet your basic needs. And that is the kind of service that we want to offer you to ensure that you're totally successful and get everything you need out of the course. 
We It looks like we are just about wrapping up. It's uh, about four. I just wanted to reiterate that um, we will be sending you this recorded um, webinar as well as information about our affiliate program. Uh, we'll be sending this out to all the registered uh, attendees. Um, and if you do need a scholarship application, you can email Adam at Permaculture Skills Center. Um, so next steps, really spread the word. Help us get this information out there. If the EOI program is the right fit for you, go ahead and send in your deposit and make, and make sure you connect with either Adam or myself uh, to let us know that we can be expecting uh, the deposit from you um, and connect with us to get um, your agreement. Um, but yes, don't don't wait because spots are, are limited and we are running out of, of, of spots. So they are filling up. Um, you can sponsor a student and then you can also become an affiliate and you'll get more information about what that entails. And I just want to say as well, thank you all so much for tuning in today and for your great questions. Please keep them coming. And uh, you know, you just let us know if we can help you in this process in any way. And I so look forward to seeing you out there in the landscape. Thank you so much. Thanks again for joining in today. It was so great to see people from all over the country, from Nebraska and New York, and uh, lots from California. And we look forward to seeing many of you as a part of the Ecological Landscaper Immersion Program.